Here we have her. She's so pretty, even when she's like pregnant, like literally about to pop out this kid. Hey guys, it's actually Lollipop here, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations. This is part seven, and in the last part, Alice found out that she got pregnant, and she's currently going to the spa because she already has a sore back. She's not having a great pregnancy, as you can probably see right here. And I do just wanna say, that I literally, I feel so dumb right now because I literally just realized I can just record my computer audio with the click of a button. So I feel really dumb right now. But yeah, she's going into the spa and Kaden here is just waking up. I think I'm going to go ahead and have him read another pregnancy book because that's what he wanted to do. So if he wants to do that, he can totally do that. And I definitely do want him to learn some of these recipes that we got because we definitely need some of them because he is kind of the cook of the house i don't know why there's just like a gang of old people and this teenager and apparently this girl is a witch and they're just kind of doing their thing talk about a day of pampering alice pure decided to spend some time at the spa she will always remember getting a foot massage while enjoying a hot kelp body wrap he just learned how to make ratatouille. I think she's going to have the baby the day after tomorrow, which this might be a slightly longer part just because I need to see this baby. Okay, I need to see this baby today, right now. He just learned how to make cookies. Nice work, Kaden. He's pretty proud of himself. And Alice, you you literally just went to the day spa hunt. Her With back is already hurting. Done. That did not help you too, too much. She's having a really tough pregnancy. Go ahead and go to the beach where you got married and maybe just chill out a little bit more. He just read five unique books. He learned how to make mushroom omelet. Oh, I need a picture of this. And my dog is barking. Thank you, Ben. Just look at this. Like, she is living the life right now. Um. That's just Sims 3 for ya. I have nothing else to comment on that. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and have her just relax on the beach a little bit because she is pregnant. Look how pretty she is. I need a picture. I need so many pictures of her. I've like, I've not been taking as many pictures lately, but like this family, I need all the pictures. Maybe once this LP is over, I could put together a little montage, which this LP will not end for a long time because I'm having so much fun with this LP. This is like, this is by far my favorite LP ever so far. So she's just having a nice time relaxing on the beach. Cutie. What is that? I just feel like she's pregnant. I was like, I did not put that on you. Like, please get out of that. There's some weird people in Sunset Valley, guys. Beware. Really, beware. Um, girl, can you back up? He just learned his last recipe, so now he can go ahead and read the other pregnancy book. Can you please get out of your bathing suit? Like, that is not appropriate for a pregnant woman. And she's, like, driving home pregnant in her bathing suit. <laughs> Alice, you're a special one, and I love that about you, but you're you're very special. She looks like she's about to pop. I really hope she doesn't have twins, and you're probably thinking, but this is a Generations LP, don't you want a lot of kids? But like, I guess I wouldn't mind that much if one was a boy and one was a girl, but if we had just had like two girls or two boys right off of the bat, like as twins, mm. I don't know how I would like that too much. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm hyped for any babies they may have, but that's just my preference. You know what you can definitely chat go ahead and tell her that you're pregnant because i don't think she knows i actually think that's so cute i didn't lock it in but she wants to become best friends with Vic with victoria which we definitely have to do and for some reason i need to turn super naturals off because i swear like they are spreading they are off they're just like continuously like spreading throughout the town i'm not down for that it's literally another letter from Styles. I want, you know, if you like it so much, like, give us, like, a $50,000 fountain or something. I'd really appreciate that. Rock on this rocking chair. I don't, you know what, change out of your bathing suit first. <laughs> Please. Uh, get into your sleepy wear. Sleepy wear, what? And then I definitely want to get them a camera because that's kind of a big deal in Generations. Basically, you can take videos, like, home videos, and you can watch them on the TV. I think that's 
it's just super cute, especially when, like, say your sims are elders and they just look back on their family. I just think that's so cute. I just want to skip till she has this baby already. I just want it to pop out of her. So I will go ahead and see you in the morning. Okay, guys, it is 10 p.m. And as you can see in the top right corner, she is in labor. So first of all, just because we want to be like that, we need to get... What? We need to get this documented. I think I'm going to go ahead and record her as, like, bad as that is. She's in, like, so much pain. Here we have her. She's so pretty, even when she's, like, pregnant. Like, literally about to pop out this kid. She's so Look at her. She's smiling. She knows that she's going to have a beautiful baby. Okay, just uh, look at her. She's so pretty. But we need to take her to the hospital right now because I need to see this baby. Also, apparently, Ellie and your scene will no longer be attending daycare. But that we don't care about her right now. We care about this baby. I really hope it's a boy. But it seems like every time I hope it's a boy, it's a girl. And every time I hope it's a girl, it's a boy. I'm sorry, I'm talking so fast. And I'm like screaming, but I'm so excited. I love how she's driving the car. <laughs> Literally in labor. I also think that home birth, you can do that. We might do that for one of our kids. But I think the first... Um, for the first kid, we're just gonna do it traditionally. Please be a boy! It's a boy! I- I- I just screamed. <laughs> we're naming it Jaden. Um, shout out to It's Delightful. She recommended me this name because his name is Caden, so little boy named Jaden is so cute. And yeah, I think that he's going to be a total, uh, daddy's boy. Clumsy. Everyone in this household is clumsy. I feel like we're gonna keep with that trend. Literally everyone has to be clumsy. That's just this- this family's thing, I guess. Um, I think we're going to- I don't know what to make him. It's the first kid. Okay, what about, um... His mom is very artistic, and his dad is very, very loving, very family-oriented. And if he is going to be with his dad a lot, I think I'm going to go ahead and make him very friendly. And I think his next trait is going to be genius, maybe? I don't know. I'm so excited that we had a boy, and we just had one kid. This is literally exactly what I wanted. I don't know what my age settings are on. I think I have babies for just two days, because who cares about babies? We want to teach them how to go poop. We definitely need, need to get some baby stuff at... I just want to scream. Okay, we need to get some baby stuff. Can you tell how happy this LP makes me? I just... Jaden, I already know he's gonna be, he's gonna grow up to be the most beautiful boy ever. Okay, because I mean like look at his parents, you can't really- <gasps> Tell me they're not literally the cutest thing you've ever seen. I, I have goosebumps right now, I'm freaking out, we need, we need a, we need a baby. We need, no, we don't, we already have a baby, but we need a room. Okay, so I finished designing his room. It's very simple. He's just a baby and we're, we're kind of running out of money, but he really has pretty much everything he needs for right now. And go ahead and put him in his crib and I want you to record this, Kaden. I have a feeling I'm going to get those two mixed up a lot. Kaden, I love that. Kitty pie. Normally I hate babies, but <laughs> we can make an exception for Jaden. Because he's literally the most adorable little thing. So babu. Oh dibby boo bab. 
really likes that milk. <laughs> mm. Aww. Sorry yeah, I'm being so yeah, silent. Man. I just, I'm like trying to take this all in right now. So cute. I'm gonna go ahead and name these. Let's not play them. Let's name them Jaden's birth. And I'm going to go ahead and name this one Jaden comes home. I'm a very family oriented simmer, so stuff like this makes me really happy, especially when I love the family this much. I think I'm just going to have them go to sleep. I mean, she just popped out a baby. She needs some sleep. I'm just really happy right now. Okay guys, it is the morning. Kaden is unclogging the toilet and she's having herself some autumn salad. But this is probably gonna be their last peaceful morning <laughs> for a while, which is kind of sad for them. But honestly, give me all them kids. Congratulations from a second cousin, Eugenia. She has sent a special present in the mail. If Jaden Pierre gains relationship with it, its secret gifts will be revealed as he ages. Obtain the mail to place it in Jaden's inventory. So this is the imaginary friend this did come with generations a lot of people find it really creepy we definitely will have to explore that because it is generations i need i need all the pictures right now literally so cute. look at kaden you can tell he's so excited this is this is going to be the first time he's held his child Job new boo. Oh, he's gonna be such Aww. a good father and you just know it. Look at him! And Jaden and Kaden at the You already know. He's gonna be a total daddy's boy. Cuties! Oh. That's literally the cutest thing. I'm literally like freaking out. I need to calm down. It's literally just a bunch of pixels on my screen. I think when, since Kaden is, or Jaden, I'm already getting them confused. Since he is going to age up on Sunday, I think I'm going to have, go ahead and get her pregnant um, Sunday night. Then again, I don't know, maybe like Monday night. I don't know, but I definitely want them to have a bunch of kids. Obviously, which are generations, but I don't want to rush it too much because I definitely want to make sure that every child is where well taken care of and like is taught everything, I guess. I don't know, but I think they're going to go ahead and go out on a date because, um, little, little Jaden, I almost called him Kaden again. They're, I'm going to get them mixed up nonstop, but I think... He already pooped his diaper. You know what? That that that'll be the babysitter's job. I think they're going to go out on a date because this is probably going to be their last date for a while. Go to the watering hole so maybe they can grab a drink or two, and then because it's probably going to be the last time they're going to be able to do something like that. Um, but I do think, sadly, before they go, I am going to have to look at him. He's literally watching the kid as he leaves he doesn't want to leave him he's literally the cutest thing i think i'm gonna go ahead and end it on this i think i might even just record another part just after this i just like wow i'm just so happy and excited for this kid i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're super excited to you know see you know what Jaden becomes i guess and i please recommend more baby names i'm really excited <laughs> i hope you enjoyed thank you so so much for watching have a great great day goodbye